top five corny ass motorcycle movies. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. I'll tell you guys, a lot of the motorcycle movies out there, a lot of them are corny as fuck, but I'll tell you, number one, as cool as Ice, Vanilla Ice's motorcycle movie, I think that was his like first movie, I, maybe his only movie that he did, I don't know man, but that movie sucked ass. That, that has to be the number one worst motorcycle movie that I think I've personally ever seen, man. That shit was so corny. And it was like, it was like, it should be called as cool as a douchebag. <laughs> That's what they should have called it. <laughs> because it was just so fucking corny, man. He's riding, of course, they're riding like squids. The fucking the hair blowing in the wind. He's got baggy ass clothes. Back then, baggy clothes were in, so I'll give him a break on that because that was a style back then. But, uh, it just, um, ridiculous stunts on the bike. I mean, he sees this chick riding a horse that he ends up, you know, getting with later on in the movie, but he freaking flies over the fence I don't know who the hell directed this movie who wrote this movie but that is just freaking corny as fuck where the fuck how is a motorcycle gonna fly over a fucking fence <laughs> it was like like he like he did a, a wheelie jump over the fence and he was just trying to be so cool in the movie it was just so lame it just honestly it made us sport bike riders look bad really that just kind of adds to the stereotype as us bikers being douchebags anyways number two biker boys and i've mentioned this in my other top five motorcycle uh, movies video that i did previously i mentioned it at the end on the reason why I didn't put it on that top five list obviously it's it's one of the corniest motorcycle movies out there the only thing that's kind of cool yeah they do some wheelies and stunts and shit like that but it's absolutely freaking corny man they um they race at the end this big race they freaking race on a dirt track who in the hell races on a dirt track man <laughs> on sport bikes crazy and uh and then of course doing squid shit on the highway they jump off their bikes they like got freaking shoes that have like uh metal cleats on it or something and they're like uh, having fun sparkling their feet up on the side of their bike i don't even know what what the hell kind of shoes they had on but they slid and uh just i don't know it's just complete uh, like i said another movie that adds to the whole douche bike douchebag stereotype to motorcycle riders man anyways number three on the list torque that movie was so bad sport bike movie was so bad did I actually, I didn't even see all the movie, man. I was like, I just saw right off the jump how corny it is. Like I said, I don't know who writes these movies or directs these movies to come up with these absolutely ridiculous ass, unrealistic, cheesy ass stunts. Uh, computer generated or whatever the fuck they do to make these stunts. It's ridiculous. Like a jet, the one in the scene that has a jet powered motorcycle that does a flip just crazy ass stuff that it's not real it's not realistic corny 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 movie man like i said i couldn't even get through the movie ghost rider with nicholas cage another super corny ass movie that's based on i guess a comic book character 
you know, supposedly he sells his soul to the devil or whatever so he can turn into a demon with a flaming skull. He can turn into this ghost rider, biker, and uh, just complete corniness, cheesiness. That's another movie I couldn't get, I couldn't watch in its entirety. I, I think I, I don't even remember that movie so much. It was so, I cut it off. I think like, probably like the first 20 minutes or so. I couldn't take it. Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man. Uh, that's, that should be called uh, Douchebag and the Super Douchebag Man. That was a, it, it basically, it wasn't even really a motorcycle movie. It's these guys, you know, with the drama. A drama movie basically with just guys riding a motorcycle. And squids. As I said, just uh, to add, to me, just makes, adds douchiness to it. I don't know. I thought it was a stupid movie. I don't know. It just, uh... So I, I, that really shouldn't even be on the list because it's really not a motorcycle movie. That, but they make it seem like it is because they have the title Harley Davidson and Marlboro Man. It's like it's not really revolve around motorcycles, but they ride a motorcycle in it. So that I guess that makes it a motorcycle movie. <laughs> Douche. Uh, I don't know what it is with the Harley Davidson and the douchebags though, man. I'll tell you guys, there's a lot of cool ass people, uh, riders that I know that ride Harley Davidson. So I, Alright man, thanks, take care. You can't stereotype the whole group of Harley Davidson riders, but I tell you guys, in the media, they sure do betray Harley Davidson riders as douchebags, and that's one of those movies. Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Dickhead. <laughs> why can't we have better, why can't they come up with better motorcycle movies? They, they have all these brilliant riders, but I guess none of them ride a motorcycle, so they don't know they don't know how to ride it properly. They just come up with these absolutely ridiculous, uh, stupid shit stunts and just douchebaggery. But anyways, that's all I have for you in this video, guys. If you want to see more of my top video, five videos or other video playlists that I've done, go to our website at CycleCruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Videos. All my videos are categorized in a various playlists. And hopefully you can find something that will inform you, entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends. And tell them to stay away from these horrible, cheesy-ass motorcycle movies that I just mentioned. And uh, But hey, subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel. Appreciate all you guys. So until next time, catch you guys later. Hey, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel that features the original bug out moto van that is designed and built by yours truly so that I can live in my van with my motorcycle. So hey, check me out at youtube.com forward slash bug out moto. Subscribe today.